don't know what to do, go for their eyes first. But some people have like boats or they might have like mountain bikes as like a family time thing. And uh, we had a hot air balloon. I grew up in a really eclectic family that doesn't speak to each other. <laughs> and we'd go hot air ballooning. And it was, it was an incredible childhood. I mean, to have that experience and, and stuff was amazing. I became a pilot and um, I... I, st I don't fly anymore. My dad still has the balloon, and he, he, I think we have, he was like 17, 16 or 17 grandkids in the family, and so everyone's kind of asking him, hey, you know, when are you going to pull the thing out and let's go flying again? It's it's such a fun, fun way to grow up. Out there's a video game worth the pre-order. Oh, hell yeah, score. A few more of those, a little aluminum foil and some bleach. Got yourself some volts, sister. I base Eugene on my brother. He, um... My family doesn't really communicate. We like we love each other, but we'll sit around at family parties and just like not talk, and it's r extremely awkward. And um, and my brother has very low affect. He's sarcastic. He's dry. He could be overly excited, and you could say, "Zach, are you excited?" And his answer would be, "Yes." Like he, you know. So so when I was kind of creating Eugene, which you know I used from the comics with the Robert Kirkman's comics. Um, Instantly, I got it. I understood. Oh, this is my brother Zach. You know, people ask, "Well, how how did you become an actor?" And and you know, obviously, there was a, a set moment where I was like, you know, this is I want to move to Los Angeles and pursue this. But really, if you look back far into my life, you realize growing up with my mother uh, is what put me on the path to being an actor. We would she loved messing with her kids and just pulling pranks. And we'd come home from school, and she'd be laying in the hallway like she'd pop a blood capsule, and there'd be blood there, and she'd pretend she's dead. And it's like this was like an everyday thing for us. So it wasn't like traumatic for us or anything, but we'd just step over her and say, you know, get up, mom.